Alright, cool. So now we're in our second Tinkercad basic modules. Um, and we are going to be learning in this lesson camera controls. Now remember, um, in the previous lesson, you learned how to manipulate objects on the work plane, right? So right now, we're going to be learning how to look around your work plane. Because before, all you did was just um, take the work plane from its original state or its original viewpoint, right? And then you just moved an object around. That doesn't require you to change any of your views, right? In this case, we're going to be learning how to check out your designs by changing your view of the model using the view cube. That's just basically what it says right here, right? So let's just go on ahead and go next. Well, creating designs, it helps to be able to see your design from all sides. Let's learn how you can change your view. So now right in here, uh, right now you see a stage, right? with a curtain drawn. So if you want to see what's behind this stage, it would be very useful if you could rotate your view, right? Now this is comparable to say, um, if you're like playing a game, right? And then you know how in most driving games they have a certain feature that's like, you can change your view from third person, you can look around, you can change it to first person, you can change it to like, you don't show the car, you show it from like a fisheye view. This is basically what it is. This is comparable to you looking around. So like, um, also and also like other games such as TF2 or other games such as that, when you look around using your keys, you're basically doing what we're about to do right now. So it says just drag anywhere in the view cube. So what is a view cube? The view cube is simply just this cube up here. You see it? So we're going to use this view cube to change our uh, views around. So try pressing the top corners of the view cube until you see who's behind the curtain. Okay, so there's two ways for you to manipulate this. You can either just click the top one and it'll immediately rotate to the top for you. Or you can just go ahead and then you can also click the arrows, right? You see the back, side. I'm manipulating these tiny little arrows that you see highlighted in blue right here, right? There's also another way. You just click a face or you click a face and you drag. So then you'll be able to quite quickly move around your camera controls. And now we can see that there's a singer behind the curtain who is most likely waiting for a show to start. So let's go out and add and continue to the next step. So uh, from time to time, it's useful to zoom. Um, it's useful in cases such as when we'll be going to learn, we'll be going into more detailed designs. It's helpful to know, like, it's helpful to know. Um, how detailed your designs are and whether or not the 3d printer will have trouble printing it or not um, We'll discuss this later um, If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel use it for zooming in and out now, so You should uh, one of the recommended things for this class is of course a mouse, right? So but if you don't have a mouse you can just use your trackpad So now I'm going to demonstrate using my trackpad. So if you use your trackpad all you have to do is just um Use your normal pinching motions to zoom in or out. So by pinching motions, I mean you take, uh, say, like your two fingers, and then if you want to zoom out, then you put them on opposite sides of your trackpad, and then you pinch them towards each other. So you move your two fingers towards each other. You see um, the view just change, right? We're seeing the workplace is much smaller because I just zoomed out. Now if you want to zoom back in, then you put the two fingers very close to each other, and then you push them apart. So you see I zoomed in quite far. Now, the, and then if you have a mouse scroll wheel, you can just zoom in and out using your mouse scroll wheel, right? So if you uh, roll your mouse scroll wheel forward, you'll end up looking like this, right? Like that. And then if you roll your mouse scroll wheel uh, backward, then it'll zoom out like that. So let's go on ahead and see uh, what's another way of doing this. In case... Like somehow you don't, you're not able to do this, or if you want to just, I don't know, find another way to do this. On the on your left hand side, this mini toolbar, this mini gray, almost grayed out toolbar, there's two options named zoomed in and zoom out. So let's go on ahead and if if you click this, it goes, it zooms in a pre-mediated distance or say a predetermined distance. And a zoom out, you zoom out, uh, um, you zoom out. Uh, predetermined distance as well. 
And uh, other things on this is home view, right? This is if you just want to go right back to your default view quickly. Fit all in view, that means that, say, you zoomed out too far accidentally, but then you want to uh, get to the point where you can see all of your objects again. Um, yeah, if you accidentally rolled your mouse wheel too far out and you don't want to get through all the trouble, zoom back in, you could just go straight ahead and fit all in view. And then switch to orthographic view. We're not going to be really doing, doing with this. You see, if I click it, it kind of changes it almost to like a 2D, if you would say. So, yeah, we're not going to be doing this. So, let's go right back to 3D. So, um, yeah. Um, actually, right now, I would want to introduce some of the toolbars around here. So, Tinkercad Basic Skills Camera Controls. Over here, you can toggle which lesson you want to be in. Uh, Tinkercad, of course, if you usually click on the logo, then it'll bring you to the Tinkercad homepage, which in this case, it will probably bring you to your dashboard. This is the name of the lesson, Camera Controls. Over here, Click on it, design, right? You're in design mode. Uh, blocks mode is used mainly for Minecraft. Um, bricks mode is, uh, I'm not quite sure what that is, but you can investigate that yourself. And shape generators, we're not going to be used that either. What's new, what's new in this latest release. Um, and this is myself. So copy, so copy and control C, we're going to be dealing with this later in uh, following modules. So copy, control C, so you just select something on the work plane right here, and then you press control C, and then duplicate is the same, almost the same thing as copy, except that it takes care of copying and pasting it for you at the same time, and delete, yeah. So this paste right here is grayed out because I don't have anything copied to my clipboard as of yet. Undo is really useful in case you accidentally drag over something or accidentally delete something you didn't want to delete. Um, yeah, so if I press undo, then, yeah, then it's basically going to undo all my previous actions, or, or my previous action. Group, we'll be dealing with this later when we're creating holes. Align, this is if um, you don't have a very precise mouse, or your mouse keeps on moving all over the place, you want to the, align two shapes together along a horizontal or vertical plane. Flip, this is um, very similar to uh, flipping over the x and y axis if you're in algebra. Um, where you're, where you literally take the mirror image over an axis, like a predetermined axis, right? Import, export will be, um, this will be covered in class. Import, if you want to import a design such as from the STL file format, export. We'll be primarily using the STL file format for exporting to the software to uh, connect with the up mini. And share, this, you, we don't have to worry about this. Uh, work plane ruler, the yeah, so ruler is just basically ruler, right? You can see what's on. Ruler, this is just for you to drag around like a mini sized ruler, right? So just so you can see more detailed about how large things are. Yeah, so I just dragged along the ruler. So control Z, I just ended that. Work plane, uh, we'll be dealing with this later. This is if you want to add with multiple work planes. Over right here, this is probably the most important thing that you'll be using throughout this course. This is called the Tinkercad Basic Shapes Gallery. They also have many other things, text symbols, connectors, extra circuit assemblies. Circuit assemblies is for circuit design. We'll not be dealing with that. However, over here you can find a lot of different shapes that you will recognize, right? Say a, uh, a round r a roof, a pyramid, roof, box cylinder, box cylinder, right? So yeah, these is the, I'll, I'll refer to this as your basic shape, basic shapes gallery. And yeah, okay, let's go on ahead and move on to the next step. Now you've seen how to rotate using the view cube. Let's this time let's try by only using your mouse or your touchpad. So, uh, in this case, you know before we use the view cube, right? But in this case, let's just use our mouse or our touchpad, depending on which one you're using. So, in order to do this, it says press and hold your right mouse button while moving your mouse to practice rotating your view design. So, right mouse button, click, hold, and then you move around quite quickly, right? Frankly, this can be faster than just using the view cube. Um, yeah. 
So let's go on ahead and continue to the next step. Oh, and for Mac users, if you have a hard time doing a right click or if you're using a Chromebook, then you have to do Control, Control left click, and Control left click will do the same uh, function that right click does. Okay, good job. Let's go on ahead and move on to the next one.